Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders just unleashed final devastating message on everyone before last briefing. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the woman the leftist progressives love to hate and the right adores, took to social media to publicly call out a CNN producer. The scathing reprimand was prompted by a tweet from Dan Scavino, an assistant to the president. Scavino tweeted out a behind-the-scenes photo of negotiations at the annual G7 summit. CNN producer Greg Hughes attempted to discredit the successes President Donald Trump is currently enjoying with regard to an America First agenda insisted the photo was just clever visual messaging and claimed without evidence that the event was a group signing. Hughes tweeted Dash. Pretty clever visual messaging here from the White House taking some kind of group signing event and framing it instead to show President Trump seemingly holding court, with the rest of the G7 leaders clustered in around him. Sanders gave no quarter as she promptly fired back and tweeted in response, Congratulations! Once again you are wrong. There is no some kind of group signing taking place. It was all negotiations. We were there. You are not. Naturally, Hughes did not go down without a fight but was eventually forced to concede and deleted his comment. He then tweeted a retraction stating, Earlier today, I tweeted a photo of leaders at the G7 and mistakenly referred to it as a signing event. The White House says the images were taken during negotiations between the leaders. I was incorrect, have removed the previous tweet, and apologize. The G7, or a group of seven, represents seven of the top global economies, the United States, France, Britain, Germany, Italy, Canada, and Japan. Seven of the world's most powerful leaders were gathered in Charlevoix, the Riverside region in Quebec June 8 and 9. This year's session was one in which leaders butted heads over trade, with President Trump warning other nations not to take advantage of America on trade. Fox News reports of the events at the G7 summit Ash, President Trump used a press conference at the G7 summit in Canada to double down on his tough stance on trade telling reporters that the United States is like the piggy bank that everybody is robbing but promising that that is ending under his leadership. Trump made the remarks before he departed Charlevoix, Canada, after meeting with world leaders. Trump had entered the summit amid a spat with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and French President Emmanuel Macron over U.S. tariffs on steel and aluminum. But Trump said that talks at the summit had been extremely productive about trade among other issues. Despite reported tension surrounding the summit, Trudeau announced on Saturday that all seven countries had signed on to a summit communique, the Associated Press reported. Trump said he didn't blame the other leaders for what he saw as an unbalanced trade relationship which hurts the U.S. People can't charge us 270 percent and we charge them nothing, that doesn't work anymore, he said. He said he believes other countries are now more committed to a fairer trade relationship. I don't blame them, I blame our leaders, he said. In fact, I congratulate leaders of other leaders for so crazily being able to make those trade deals that were so good for their country and bad for the United States. But he promised an end to the situation and even warned of penalties for countries that do not remove trade barriers. He also said that the North American Free Trade Agreement could either be renegotiated, split up into separate trade deals, or the U.S. could pull out entirely. We are like the piggy bank that everybody is robbing, he said. And that ends. He warned that the U.S. will take any action necessary to defend Americans from unfair trade practices. President Trump made what many deem as controversial remarks at the G7 summit in suggesting Russia be readmitted to which the left-leaning mainstream media promptly lost their mind, claiming it as further proof of Russian collusion. Russia was kicked out of the G7 summit in 2014 for its activities in Crimea. President Trump also floated the idea of ending all tariffs and trade barriers between the U.S. and its allies, according to Politico. President Trump offered the proposal at the end of what many believe was a contentious meeting on trade disputes. Many G7 members prefer the current status quo with American funding and America receiving little benefit from said funding. President Trump has said no more. And is sticking to his decision to impose tariffs on aluminum and steel imports, and his threats to impose more trade restrictions. German Chancellor Angela Merkel responded positively to President Trump's suggestion, saying she would consider it. President Trump ended the summit by walking away without signing the U.S. on to the traditional post-summit agreement. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.